Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be jumping in to my closet to do a full declutter and organize with me. My closet um, is kind of like if you guys have ever seen the show Friends, this closet, my walk-in closet in my bedroom is unfortunately my Monica closet. I tend to throw things in there when I don't know where to put them. If they don't have a home yet, or maybe somebody gave me something, or maybe we're decluttering and we have a pile of stuff that we need to get rid of. All of those things, for some reason, find a home in my closet back here. And it's a terrible, terrible thing and I need to stop it. But I'm going to tackle it today. I'm gonna to try and do a really good, deep declutter, clean it all out really good, get the vacuum in there, you know, get around the edges. I feel like that's something that we just don't do very often. It's not something we think to do um, when we're cleaning especially if we have a lot of stuff in our closets. So I'm going to tackle this today and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So if you need some motivation and inspiration to tackle a decluttering project in your house, then let's go. Mm. Oh, I'm slipping away. So don't let me go now. Here is what I pulled out. So I have a lot of like home decor things like pillows. I also have some food. This is like candy and stuff that my kids have received and we only give them like little bits at a time because they would literally be on a sugar high. I know you mamas can understand that. We also keep like I order protein powder and then we buy extras and we don't always have room in our cabinets. So sometimes I will store this in our closet and I'm okay keeping one or two of those things in there, but not everything. <laughs> okay, so these, you have to tell me if you are like me, if my kids lose a toy because of, you know, bad behavior or whatever, um, like hitting their brother across the head, then it gets taken and put in my closet. So that's what those are there for. And then over there, it's just a lot of random stuff like papers and, you know, more home decor stuff that I probably don't need anymore. So this is our lost sock bag. It's just an extra bag that I have. And we just put, if we match our socks, you know, from a load of laundry and we have some that are not, don't have a match, we'll put them in here. And then once a week or once every two weeks, I'll just go and empty out all the socks and try and find their matches. So there's that. Um, this is my backpack, which does need to stay in there. And then this needs to find a new home. So for homeschool, we have kind of like a treasure box that we do on Fridays. My kids love it. So this is the treasure box, but 
this is not going to work. <laughs> it's going to have to find a new home. So uh, I'm going to get to work kind of going through all of this and decide what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. Child, I know you're hurt and you can't let go. It's not your fault, and you don't deserve all the bad and the hurt. Ooh, I know you tried so hard. I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright All the life you've tried To be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good Ooh, I know you've tried so hard your time How much longer will you suffer in this life But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Okay, so in this tote right here, I just have some office equipment stuff that I might use. Things like my label maker, I have some extra tape, um, my hole punch, some binder dividers, and that kind of stuff. Below that in this tote, this is like shipping supplies. So extra envelopes, um, printable labels, that type of stuff. Over here, this is my craft bin, and I really purged in there. This is my paper slicer. And then I just have some extra stuff in there. Things like labeling supplies, my hot glue gun, some different types of glues and twine, clothespins, all things that I will likely use in the future. And then up here, this pretty much stays like this for the most part. This is not some place that gets overly cluttered. I keep my printer paper, cardstock, and then I usually have a couple of notebooks that I can grab if I need some paper. And then over here we keep envelopes and then there's a charging cord right in the front that is for this iPad. It's really, really old. Um, I want to say like eight or nine years old, but it works really well for my kids. So we do keep it. Um, and then just thank you notes. And then this office supplies just has some extra things like these are my kids extra pencils. When we run, start running low, um, there's some tape, binder dividers or binder clips, a ruler, that type of stuff. So that's just kind of extras. So this looks so much better. Okay, so this is the home decor that I would like to keep and I need to find a spot for. So if you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that I do keep my home decor over here. And I have two cabinets. There's one there and then behind all this stuff, there's one. But these items over here are things that just are too big to go in those cabinets. Those cabinets are just not very big. So I could probably fit a few of those, like the candlesticks could go in there, maybe this little sign, but everything else is just too tall. So I need to find a spot in my closet to store these things, but I need to give myself a limit. So here's what I'm thinking. 
So as you walk into my closet, I have this shelf over here and this is just kind of junk to be perfectly honest. This is my husband's work stuff. I'm not touching that. <laughs> that is his. These are like scrapbooks and photo albums that, you know, some of them I do want to keep. This is one of those. Let me take it down and show you. So inside here are photos and CDs of photos and little mini photo albums and things that honestly, I don't know what to do with. Um, they're from, you know, 10 plus years ago, back before the age of everything being digital. Um, and this is kind of my way of dealing with it right now is to put it in the basket, close the lid and tuck it up in my closet for another day. And that is not going to come <laughs> anytime soon. So instead of just tucking it away, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to sort through this this afternoon. This is probably going to take me some time, but I really think that things like this, when we tuck away things like this, it's not really doing us any good. It's just one more little reminder of, oh, we need to deal with that. And instead of just tucking it away, let's take the, you know, 30 minutes or an hour it's going to take. I'm going to sit down and watch a show and go through it. And it will feel so much better to have that done. This is not my ideal setup. I don't love the way this looks up here, but it's gonna work for now, especially with my fall decor out. A lot of these pieces here are things that I have out when I have like my neutral kind of everyday non-seasonal stuff out. And so I know that I will use those pieces again, but for now they're just gonna have to live up there. So now I am going to jump in to my shoes and declutter these. The sun and there was rain Beauty in the Monday And as the light Startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now There's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer on our skin done I have this kind of stack of clean masks that are for me and my kiddos and I'm not sure what to do with them I hate that we live in a world where this is a thing but it is and so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can find a small little basket that I can put my clean ones in and then just set it somewhere in here in my closet so I can easily grab them on our way out the door if we need a clean one so 
Okay, I found this basket. I think it's going to fit perfectly. I'm going to flip you guys around so you can see. It's not perfect, but again, I need access to these. This is one of those things where I feel like sometimes we have to just be willing to adjust our systems with our lives. And right now, masks are part of our lives. And so I need a place to store the clean ones. And so this is just going to have to do. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. And then I can just set my clean masks there. They have a home and my kids will know where to find a clean mask when they need one. So now I'm going to jump in and tackle my clothes. I'm just going to sift through them. This is never something that I recommend if you are wanting to do a deep dive purge. But since I've already done a deep dive purge of this space, I've not added a ton of new clothes that I've not worn. So I can sift through this pretty quickly and I'm to a point in my kind of decluttering journey where I feel very confident knowing that I can look at a shirt, say, okay, I've not worn this shirt in six months or since I decluttered last, I don't need to keep it. So I am at that point. If you are not at that point, I definitely recommend you go and watch my closet clutter clear out, I think is what I called it, video. And I show you how I can, you can pull out all of your clothes, sort through them slowly, try things on, and then create a halfway home for your clothes. And so if you have a halfway home, you would take things out that you're like, I'm not sure if I want to keep this. I'm not sure if I want to get rid of this. You put it in a halfway home. You give yourself a time frame, six weeks, three months, whatever works for you. And then once that time frame is up, then you get rid of all of those clothes and you don't peek into the tote. That is the key. So I'm going to just sift through these, pull out things that I've not worn in the past six months, and that should help kind of clear this out a little bit and make it a little bit less congested in there. So. candles I do put them in baskets and I kind of have them labeled so I have like my fall and winter candles together and then up in the other basket I have summer and spring candles so I just kind of put my candles in here like this so if there's any that maybe like this one it's not all the way used up but it's you know it's still got some life left in it I just put them back in here and this works really well so that I can use things up they don't get lost in the shuffle with everything else and I also know what I have, and I can easily see in here that I obviously have a lot of fall and winter candles, so I really don't need any more this year. As for my spring and summer candles, since we are just finishing up summer, I've actually used up most of these. So I just have a few smaller ones left, and then these three here are like half to three quarters of the way gone. So I will use those up next spring. No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call?
Well, thank you for coming along with me today on this clean and declutter and organize with me. I hope that you guys got some inspiration to get some decluttering done in your house. And I hope that you guys have a really wonderful day. Please hit that subscribe button if you are new around here so that you won't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Things we used to do. No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call?